Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome to CC, the test server for EVE Online, where as you can see, we are holding a mass test for the March release. Um, CCP just put the mass testing channel in default, so we should be starting any moment now. Honestly, pretty short notice this test, uh, happening on March 1st, and it's only after I got back from work that I saw that uh, this was happening. Uh, local currently at 340, so a decent amount. And I think it's good that we have these mass tests considering um, all of the problems that the TQ uh, server has been having in the last few days. Uh, it's, it's probably related to the new hardware, but testing the stability of the client is what this one is all about. So sounds like a pretty damn good idea. Uh, let's see if there's anything special here. Uh, form up. Nope. So normally it's just the regular steps uh, where we bash a boss, then have uh, a fight somewhere. And uh, it, it's from the forum post, the main thing to look out for here is client stability, uh, possible crashes on explosion or something like that uh, of graphical effects. So it's something to keep uh, an eye out for. And of course, I'm hoping that we will actually have a smooth test because uh, I'm trying to record this in one go, give an honest uh, assessment of what happens during the mass test. I got into the fleet pretty smoothly. We're still slowly going up. And as you can see, uh, the gate is being flooded by, well, a lot of dreads again. I'm seeing a lot of dreadnoughts here. Not that many carriers, a couple up here, nothing too great. I'm in a Dominix and Sisby Hubbuck says, welcome to this mass test. We are currently for forming up in FD MLG on the XBV gate, of course. And you may notice it here. Um, I personally didn't see that posted anywhere. I completely missed the announcement here, but uh, you're probably missing <laughs> a module here on my low slot bar. Where the hell is my damage control? And so if I actually show the passive modules, display passive modules, there we go. Here is the damage control. So that apparently has been changed into a passive module that gives a uh, hull resistance. Uh, it's, it's interesting. I was completely lost, honestly. Something felt wrong when I undocked and saw um, the, uh, the modules that I had available and yeah, it was the um, it was the damage control that is apparently changed to a passive module. So that is actually pretty cool. I think a lot of people are going to be a little bit surprised when they undock for the first time on TQ uh, if that goes through in the patch. But uh, it's pretty cool. Let's again hide the passive modules. Uh, this is not a great fit, honestly, but uh, I'm planning to just catch something that's a bit smaller than me, maybe cruiser, battle cruiser, uh, with web and scram, then grab ogres. And uh, of course, with my blasters here, with the cap injectors, I should be able to keep the, um, the, the repairs running for a little bit. We'll see how everything works out. And do I have, yeah, I've got guards as well. So no bubbles, of course, PVP is only allowed during the uh, arranged fight in Poitot and local 374 slowly going up performance here. We are dipping a little bit, but staying above 50 frames per second. So that's still decently OK, I think. And here is my blue Dominix in the middle of the big ball of iron. CCB turtle power is going to give us a few instructions. OK, let's see what he has to say could be project discovery related that's still happening as well here so let's just wait on these instructions and uh, yeah let's hope we have a good fleet fight here uh, a good uh, mass test a, a good fleet fight that everything runs smoothly would be pretty awesome so of course you can zoom out completely as well and then uh, your performance does go up and you can see a couple of small ships warping in here. Please make sure you're using the new camera, escape menu, general settings, and leave the f any feedback regarding the camera in the forums threads. Okay, so I'm obviously using the new camera because I've got uh, orbit uh, camera mode. I did not enable the auto tracking. Honestly, in these mass tests, it tends to become more of a burden on the client. Uh, on TQ, it's it's quite all right, but I'm a bit afraid of using it here. Um, 
Of course, we also have the tactical camera that I could use. And at least so far, here's the first person camera. <laughs> I'm just bobbling around in the middle of all of these ships. But yeah, the, the standard orbit camera view is still what I prefer uh, to play in general. And very exceptionally, when I'm actually in a fl fleet with my corp mates, I do sometimes use the tactical camera just to keep a, a better eye on things. Um, but so far, just a standard orbit camera view is what I still prefer. So we'll run most of this, I think, just in this view. And there's a feedback thread on that as well. So, so far that all seems to be working decently well. And someone just jumped, which is not the idea. Let's see if I can actually select the gate, be ready to jump myself. And I'll just go to the forums. Yeah, there we go. In the meantime, more dreads coming in. So a lot of dreadnoughts. This could be a short fight if uh, they actually decide to target me. And carriers, yeah, we get a couple, but we're used to more. In the meantime, local is going up to 410. So it is already starting to be a good sized mass test here. And we are six past the hour, so we should really be starting any moment now. Be aware that we know about a bug where the client gets stuck in the old ship. When the ship explodes, please send a bug report in this case and then either try to dock or relog your client. All right, so we don't want to explode too early because that is apparently still a known bug. Did I explode since it's happened on TQ? Uh, yeah, exploded once. Can't really remember being stuck there. Of course, I got potted as well. So that could be uh, what uh, fixed the bug for me when it happened. Or it could, of course, be that they're also still uh, making changes in the current build here, of course. Up here we actually have a Aeon and a Cap Chain going for Fleet X, unfortunately. So I'm in Fleet W. Uh, well, 186. That feels decently balanced. Get ready for the first jump, but do not jump yet. So here we go. We're about ready to go. And performance, yeah, dropping a little bit, of course, when you're in the middle of that big ball, all of them with uh, modules running like that. Can be hard on the server and then of course if the server has to uh, bring all of that information to the client it can be hard on the client as well in 10 seconds okay selected in range good to go not sure what all of those are about i heard some warps three two one and jump probably jump just a second too early but that's okay so off we go and whoa it could be because i'm like a fraction of a second that i was still in in the tick before most people clicked but that was one hell of a smooth jump <laughs> into xbv that's uh, pretty cool. Let's see, local already up to 171. But uh, there's still 200 people that need to come in. Here we go, 200. 220. Sinos are up here as well. We'll see those come in pretty soon, I think. 250. Quite blocky loading. And there come the Sinos. One of the coolest effects in the game, in my opinion. When you watch a fleet Sino in like that. Battle Roar Call, ready for duty as well, in the right fleet, Fleet W, awesome stuff. And yeah, little uh, performance dip right there for a second, but that tends to happen from time to time as well. Especially when you're leaving and entering a grid that's quite busy. So at least the client survived that without too much trouble. Uh, we can probably, if I press distance to find the warping, I can press align too. And then I put 
is back on the uh, closest targets once again so I'll be aligning and 350 yes Couple people are already going, including a dreadnought. And that's a dreadnought that must have uh, taken the gate because he decloaked right here. If you experience any problems, uh, mention it in the mass questions. Let's see if there's anyone. <laughs> He's stuck undocking from the FD station. That's not too good. Um, there are a few scattered reports that I've picked up here so far of problems with the market as well, with the inventory, and now someone on the undock, um, but no general problems and uh, nothing too bad here when it comes to the server performance so far. So I'm aligned, ready to go. 370, so because it's so short notice it is a smaller uh, a smaller test so far which of course does help keep things in control a little bit better slightly better for the performance of everyone uh, but of course a mass test the idea is to have as many people as possible and less than a day notice is often not uh, not that great and whoa is that a skinned hell I said align, not warp. Oh my god, that actually looks crazy good. A blue hell like that. That looks amazingly good, honestly. Now warp to the beacon. And I'm actually following fleet or wing commander. There's a lovely nightmare as well. Another Dominix, that's right. Farmer and Envelle. Dominic's Navy issue, that's the right hull at least. And here we go with the Oracle. <laughs> There's almost one in every test, which is pretty cool. And here we actually have a Neat Hogger as well. All of these are in my fleet, so that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, lots of dreads, not that many carriers though. So I think we'll be a little low on, on the rep power and. Uh, that doesn't bode too well for Fleet W. And here we go, stretching out the entire fleet. And then coming together in the classical ball, which is just the one thing that I don't like personally. Although it is probably going to be like mechanics related because everyone has to warp within uh, a distance of their warping points but if you could keep that spread out a little bit do it like the uh, like the trailer where the MR fleet just uh, warps in over a vast area I think that would be so cool this just doesn't really make too much sense <laughs> if you look at me and uh, the typhoon here all that clipping but all right we are landing Probably 10 off. Um, let's see here. Performance. Yeah, we're obviously starting to dip. Let's see if we can actually grab the tower and if we can move out of the big ball a little bit. Because if I get bumped, then I can also be bumped out of range of my uh, of my guards. And that's not really what I want. So just a quick move out of the fleet. And here I think we should be all right so they're already at half shields that's not bad honestly for well, 430 people is actually a decent amount performance 25 frames per second can do a little bit more if I go completely zoomed out I can still manage around 40 so that's definitely not bad this also doesn't feel uh, like it's problematic it's actually felt pretty good as well when I uh, Took out the guards, now I'm engaging, I'm not seeing die die, so we're adding a little bit of firepower on the control tower. Um, yeah, this felt quite okay performance wise to be honest. And that's what it's looking like here. 
going down really quickly 40 percent already 39 all right still seeing the ticks that's good and we can maybe do i have the yeah actually i feel decently okay on the performance so we can actually go in the fleet actually firing stuff off here um, obviously performance does drop but i can still zoom out a little bit turn around camera is feeling okay so yeah all right so far i'm pretty happy with it and now that i've been talking about all of the, those dreadnoughts i'm not seeing any titans on the field that's well sort of understandable i think everyone is waiting for the new doomsday weapons But we're chewing through this quite quickly. 16% shields. And this is like normally the view that I would take. Am I going to risk it? Honestly, we're doing really nicely already. Um, let's not jinx it. I may switch to tactical in the fight. But here, let's just uh, keep it going. In the orbit camera which uh, to me feels like it's working properly so that's pretty much the shields gone there goes the armor that was a big chunk <laughs> going down very quickly so good stuff fleet local yeah 473 still managing to bring almost 500 people on the mass test at such short notice is not bad people are definitely looking forward to any information that they can and that's also oh yeah the new effect uh when your target is actually destroyed um this felt quite okay um it was definitely noticeable as well so that was the pause gun let's grab some drones i'm still in range good then next up is of course a point dot gate let's start aligning and let's see performance yeah 30 frames per second from this point of view and still feels responsive quite okay i think that this is feeling all right we can maybe align to point out exactly there we go this is now on the tactical camera so we successfully switched and there's actually a big chunk down here yep look at that like maybe a wing or something that is down here and they are uh, of both fleets interesting so tactical view seems to be working as well i am still a little bit worried about the warping in the tactical view that sometimes gave problems but yeah here i could switch uh, quite nicely so let's get the drone bay ready and the point dot fight is next looking good There's the moon in the background, yeah, looking good. Here, probably a gas planet. With the star on the other side, Fleet W, jump to point dot and set up a gate camp. Roger that. Uh, Stargate, point dot, jump. Let's see that we get the right one. But once again, sometimes on performance issues, you know, just the right clicking becomes sluggish here. I felt really confident, you know, just going to Stargate, going to point dot and then uh, pressing the, the jump button. So felt like it's doing quite all right so far. Um, our fleet is at 200. Yeah. All right. So they have a slight edge on us again. Those bastards fl from Fleet X as they always do but we'll uh, we'll fight hard and fleet x is already coming behind us towards the gate so here we go there's actually a capsule warping past me and an enemy nightmare oh very cool sansha shield effect that was pretty damn cool 
there you go look at that yeah very very nice so here we are people going through the gates i should be too long there we go let's see well again flawless jump through we actually have rats on this gate serpent is barren and already the first bit of fighting rattlesnake has been prime rate he's in armor look at that looks so beautiful honestly looks really good so he's scrammed by the demos and he's taking fire big missile hits on the shields <laughs> very cool very cool so yeah as a neutral you don't want to jump in uh, when fleet w is setting up the gate cam because uh, they're considering everyone that's not in fleet a valid target. Oh, this is really cool. Look at that. Vigilant. Uh, can I do a track on him? Yes, there we go. That explodes. There's the Vigilant. Bubbles are up. That was, that was really cool. Really, really nice. Uh, let's start orbiting, actually, at uh, current. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to be a sitting duck. Uh, for any of the dreadnoughts There's a bit more stuff that is getting destroyed here. We also have a Tingu who is I guess considered primary Let's see if I can actually target him any Oh, he just blew up Let's go for this one so I can also broadcast if I need it and that Nestor seems to be attacked as well and destroyed before I could target him once again but yeah no tie-dye to report here so far performance looking quite all right and we are at almost 200 people in local so we'll have another 250 that'll jump in on us so that's some bounty payments let's put that here and here um, look at yep he's getting destroyed once again down he goes we even have a nagle far is that one being uh, attacked no not yet for some reason And I guess <laughs> Fleet X has some problems in XBV with bubbles because they're still not here. So we're cutting down all of the neutrals. There's just a cockroach left. Here we go. The Buck Hunter ship. Obviously not something you can fly on TQ, but uh, it looks pretty cool. All shiny, golden. As they are targeting an angle far here with the Minmatar shields those look really cool as well and the fact that I'm still able to get like 50 frames per second go from uh, target to target with, uh, with the camera this smoothly this this feels impressively nice the target is invulnerable uh, that's why he's already gone Archon down here as well. Is he being targeted? Not yet. It's, I guess, another Nagelfar here. Let's see if we can orbit this one. He's uh, taking quite a beating as well. Let's add a little bit of damage then. In five. So they're coming soon. Just blow that one up. Look at the armor damage as well. And target gone. I like the, the full fading effect in a single point. I think that's pretty cool. Now let's get on my Dominics here. 
and let's see if anything of interest comes in close enough for me to, to try and tackle. So that's another pretty big explosion. Ogres out. We do have a revelation, which is going to be pretty tough. Let's see if anything happens here. Needs capacitor. Those are either yeah, Sino effects or Smart Bomb effects. And what is this one? Archon. <laughs> no longer present. Man, <laughs> stuff is just exploding left and right. We do have a widow very close by. So let's see if we can uh, get into a fight with the widow here. My ogres, they're still doing half our right. Now, Taida is kicking in. So pretty serious tie-dye here 31% left at 31% speed and there is the widow scrammed webbed nudes let's get started engage ogres there we go and he is right there so here I am well, looking pretty dark. Could be the shadows from some of the bigger ships. And my ogres taking some shield damage from smart bombs. Uh, performance obviously dipping down to the 20 frames per second. Uh, Tie-dye kicking in at 44%, but still manageable, doable. So far at least. Taking a bit of shield damage, so is he fighting back? We'll be having a fight here. Phil making in the widow. Let's go, keep firing. Actually using a target painter on me. Oh my god, my ogres taking a lot of damage, so it's 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 smart bomb mode. Uh, they won't last too long, which is not good for my fight against the widow. Let's see if I can uh, do a broadcast for preemptive broadcast for armor. We'll see how that works out. Poor ogres just getting owned. Um, maybe they're close enough to try to call back. Let's see if uh, this is responsive enough. Let's also do a quick rep. That. That still works, despite all of the tie-dye. My drones are back as well. Uh, which means that next I'll actually try dropping the guards. Um, let's see if he tries to pull away from me. And if we can hit him. With the guards. I'm okay with losing them before I lose the ogres. I am getting a decent beat down. So let's keep going here. And do they hit that widow? So, definitely very high tie-dye here so far. So that's the big fight if you want a, a zoomed out view. Let's maybe do a fully zoomed out view. Let's see what performance does then. We can climb up to like 20 frames per second or something like that. So that's not too great. But I'm still going after my target. And let's inject some cap as well. There we go. Keep repping. Yeah, his shields are slowly dropping. And I think he's starting to be further away from my sentry drones. And so they can actually do better and better hits as he pulls away from them. As we actually have a dreadnought <laughs> attacking a zealot below me he's half shields come on keep repping keep it up let's hope that my nooting actually does something I'm okay with the guards there ah but he's repping quite heavily as well let's uh, get some more cap in here 
Now he goes down to half shields. So lovely one-on-one -on -one in a very, very slow fight. So really heavy tie-dye. Local 430 though, so that's definitely a decent amount. And I am slowly going down. I could overload. Well, I'll overload if I get to like 30% or something like that. Just keep... Oh my god, did I just lose my targets? No. ECM actually just caught me. So, goodbye target. Of course, we do probably, I think, electronic warfare. So, let's overload these babies. And then... Here we have the countdown timer around the ECM icon. Let's see if we can uh, try to do something. Keep going. We can once again target. Good. We are overloading the reps. These my my sentries though are still firing at him. Let's see what that's looking like. Rep, 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 target, target. Ah, my god, he just got a big rep. Must be some of his guys helping. Let's see if I can still request armor. <laughs> Let's keep going. Ah, he's just being repped up too efficiently. It's what I was, uh, what I feared the uh, Fleet X has like probably 40 50 more people than us and a lot of that is actually carrier switch wrapping abilities and so i'm just not getting through to this guy very unfortunate but very cool fight and so far honestly the performance here during this mass test uh, is feeling quite all right uh, heavy tie-dye a bit heavier than i'm used to seeing um, but yeah quite okay let's re-inject go go keep keep going I'm actually taking armor damage now, which looks pretty cool, and I'm repping that, trying to rep that as well. Just trying to hold on while his ECM hits me here once again. So, I'm just taking a beating on the armor here, but we're not giving up. Uh, almost half burned out. And yeah, still need some time for the ECM. So... Come on, keep repping, keep doing your best. Sentries are still there, they are still shooting, and he's actually going to warp away from me. He's using a micro jump drive. Oh my god, if I can still catch him, we could still bring him in trouble. No, oh my god, he just he just escaped out. Okay, interesting. Am I still let's stop the overheating of these guys? That's actually alright. And uh Let's start moving in a different direction. A Talos. A Talos is a good target for me here. Let's uh, try to orbit that guy at 500. Let's hope that my guards can still fire off a couple shots. But we forced that Widow to retreat. Uh, although I am still being targeted quite heavily on all sides. We're still repping. I hope as well. There we go. And... Almost targeted. Good. You're not going anywhere anymore. And let's start firing. Pressing F at Talos as well. There we go. So we're still in it. I mean, we, <laughs> we took one hell of a beating. But somehow we're still not completely done. Uh, I'm out of cap charges as well. Which is a bit more annoying. But my guards are still holding on as well. While I take big hits at the back this time. So I'm really being shot at from all sides. Let's uh, let's keep the cap flowing as much as I can. Talos, yeah, Talos, well, he's being repped as well. You can see the difference here in the two fleet fights. It's just on the incoming reps. I mean, I can, I can ask for reps here once again if I can, but just look at his shields coming back like that. That is, of course, going to put us in trouble. But uh, amazing performance from my little Dominics here so far. So there's the Talos. Oh, I'm flanking now and uh, trying to hit as hard as I can with my blasters. I think that this is actually pretty cool stuff. I'm also being repped now, I think. Is that correct? Tie-Dye is slowly 
coming back down. So let's keep approaching that guy. Honestly, just adding more pressure to the enemy reps can help. It can be helpful. Um, my guards are slowly being melted by the... Um, by the smart bombs, but we're still going. Catch him. Oh, my bloody bastards. <laughs> He's actually being targeted quite heavily as well. Because those shields were gone in no time. So, good job, guards. Keep going. Um, yeah, I'll actually risk... Overload what I still can, because I'm, I'm being shredded now. Ah, so close on this one. That was really cool. As everything dies and I explode. Let's see if I get the bug here. Where I'm actually stuck inside the exploding ship. Capsule ejecting. Um, don't really need to approach the Talos at this point. Let's see if we can find something called a Stargate here. See if we can press jump. Which I can, but I am <laughs> still in the non-existent ship here. So let's let's just be patient. We'll see. Uh, there's still a bit of tie-dye. And I am moving on the... Uh, here, in the speed. So... If they want to send me home, that's fine as well, of course. You know, if uh, someone wants to destroy my capsule, there we go. Someone does. Thank you for putting me out of my misery. But I did get that one bug where you're still stuck in the ship. But now I'm actually floating in space. And that will end this mass test. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.